Some say the language of love is universal. But what happens when two people from different countries fall in love? On Heartbeats, binational couples tell their stories. I'm uh, Wolfram, coming from uh, Heidelberg originally. I'm Diana, I'm from New York. We're really excited to come to Berlin. Uh, it's a great place. It's, uh, it's so international, it's so vibrant, it's so, uh, uh, it's so creative and has so much history. Every step you take, you have you have history. Maybe the Third Reich, maybe the wall, maybe something uh, from uh, from before, and that's quite uh, quite fascinating. I speak uh, German to our kids, um, and we speak English to each other. My brother is a linguist, and he sent us these books about raising bilingual kids. And this one book that left a real impression on you had this sort of in all caps, you know, like if you don't both speak both languages, you can never raise a truly bilingual child. And I think that's really stuck with you. But I for me, I true. can't, I have to believe that that's not the only way to raise a bilingual child because I'm not fluent in German. I'm like a really middle of the road German speaker. And I didn't start learning German until we moved here and our daughter, our older daughter was already a year and a half. Right. Yeah, true. like one parent, one language kind of thing, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty much how most people do it, or try to, as much as you can. Diana and Wolfram met in London where they were both studying art history. They never expected to live in Germany, but when a career opportunity for Wolfram came up in Frankfurt, they decided to make the move. Though many big cities across the world share a common metropolitan culture, Diana was still surprised by many of the cultural differences she encountered in their new home. Cultural differences, obviously they are there between countries, but then if you to today, if you look at cities like New York, London, Berlin, they are much more similar than Berlin and I don't know Waldorf or some small some small town in in Germany. Do you do you like the Germans? <laughs> She's supposed to be asking the question. How can you like or not like a whole nationality of people? I think you were very surprised between with the cultural difference between. England and Germany. I think you were thinking a little bit, oh, it's Europe and can't be that yeah. different and suddenly we come to Germany and you realize, oh, they're yeah. all Germans and they have a very different culture. Like so many modern families, Diana and Wolfram's concept of home is not defined by their current location so much as by the people in their lives. My home could be anywhere. My home could be here, my home could be in the US, my home could be wherever we try, decide to, to settle in a way.